Hello, welcome. I'm Dave Stiegel, one of the shareholders at Lawton and & Cates. And today we're gonna to talk about how to make sure you're dressed appropriately for court. As always, if you wanna learn more about me or our law firm, the services we offer, you can visit our website using the link below. If something I say makes you wanna to talk to me more, you got a question or a concern, you can always contact me directly as well, either by phone or email. That contact information is also uh, located below. So let's get to it. Today's question is actual question that I get a fair amount of the time from my clients. Uh, it's a question, frankly, that I take for granted because I go to court nearly every day and I don't often give much thought in particular of what I'm going to wear on a given day because I always know I'm gonna be dressed appropriately, which makes sense. I'm familiar with it. I've been to court lots and lots of times, so I know what to expect. You, if you've never been to court before or maybe on occasion or maybe it was a municipal court or something not uh, uh, not all that serious, then you, you, you might not know what to expect, which is probably why you clicked on this video. So um, here's my rules when it comes to your uh, dress for court, is that you should keep it neutral and know your purpose. By keep it neutral, here's what I mean. To me, you're dressed appropriately for court if no one notices what you're wearing. You don't stand out. On the one hand, you don't want to be overly dressed for court. You don't want to show up in a tuxedo or formal evening wear or a really fancy dress if you're a female. That is surely going to draw attention to yourself in a negative way. And the one thing you want, or don't want rather, when you're in court is to be standing out in a negative way because of something simple as your clothing choices. Okay, so there's no need to get overly dressed up with real formal wear. That's probably not appropriate. On the other hand, you don't want to wear clothes that are going to cast you in a negative light or um, make it more likely that you're going to have a negative first impression. If you have um, clothes that have lots of rips or holes in them or appear dirty or overly wrinkled or pressed, um, Something that would show that maybe you, you're not showing the appropriate amount of decorum for a legal courtroom. You want to avoid all that as well. I, uh, I saw a man uh, um, being sentenced one time in a criminal case and he showed up to court to be sentenced and he was wearing a t-shirt that had a huge marijuana leaf with two pistols and skulls and blood. Now he can, of course, wear any shirt he wants. I'm, my only point is, that's not the time and place that you want to make those sort of artistic choices with your wardrobe, so to speak. Uh, needless to say, I don't think that man's hearing went as well as it could have had he just simply worn a plain white shirt or something more neutral. Okay? So, if you need general rules, business casual is appropriate. If you're going to a job interview, clothing along that, way, uh, that line will never, you'll never go wrong with. Um, here's my second rule. Know your purpose. And what I, what I mean by that is know why you're going to court. Uh, there's probably a distinction in the closings you're going to pick if you're going for a status conference or a brief initial appearance, something where you're not expected to participate a lot in the actual court proceeding. On the other hand, if you're going for a very important hearing or certainly a jury trial, you want to put a little bit more thought into what you're going to be wearing. Keep in mind this way, people are going to look at you and judge and form a first impression, just like we all do. Uh, you don't want your clothing to be one that detracts from your, um, from their view of you. Okay, so a little bit more attention if you're going to court to be sentenced, a criminal sentencing hearing obviously would be on that list, a jury trial, an important hearing, things along those lines. Here's a couple final exceptions. If um, if you're going, if you think the media is going to be present in court at all, you want to maybe put a little bit more thought into what you're going to wear just because they can take photographs and those images may be reprodu reproduced either online or in a newspaper and you'd want to give some thought about that ahead of time. So that's it. You're really hard to go wrong here unless you're on the extremes. You, you want to be avoid being overly dressed up. You want to avoid being uh, wearing tatters or really ripped clothing, and there's a real big safe area in the middle. So as long as you aim to make it neutral, you'll be in good shape. Uh, okay, that's about it. That should get you straight. If you have more questions uh, or you want to talk more about this or anything else related to the court process, uh, feel free to let me know. You can um, let me know through the web, uh, through YouTube, or you can send me a note through our website or 
simply pick up the phone and give me a call. That always works too. So until I get to talk to you again next time, my name's Dave from Lawton and Kate's. Be well, and I look forward to speaking with you again. Thanks.